When we last left off, we were hunting for Mr. Brain. And Desmond went into this room. He's like, hey, look over here. There's some supplies. Like, man, you really are a survivalist. Well, you're helping me out right now, so I'll live with it. But as soon as we're done, go. I'm not gonna leave. Before he has time to prepare. See? Told you, we gotta prepare. Always gotta have a plan. Plan of action. I'm Batman. I mean, I'm Jasper. Let's go. Before he has time to prepare. Alright. Before he has time to prepare, look. Let's get on out of here. I see you're having a hard time getting out of that room, Desmond. Uh. You, you stuck? No, I'm just trying to tell you that there. There's some ammunition in these boxes. You forgot. Oh, Desmond, you are the best. Alright, now I'm ready, Desmond. Let's go. Go find the brain. No? Are you, Desmond? Are you glitching out on me? Uh, uh Alright, I guess I'll do it by myself. I have enough power to do what needs to be done. It's okay, Desmond. You just you just stay in that closet. Dr. Stewart. Dr. Stewart. I hate to be a bother, but it happened again. Records 48, 51, and 55 are missing. I knew it was Danielson and Priority. I knew it. Those two are always messing with me. And no matter how many reports I file with the main office, they never get disciplined. Ever. You and I both know that it's because Danielson's uncle is married to Senator. Culvert's daughter. Can't you stop it? Do something. I can't take this anymore. This nepotism makes me sick. Adam. From unknown. Hey, rat. What? You don't like people having a little fun? Huh? Well, we'll see how fun it is for you. When you're out of, you're out on the street looking for work. You tattled on the wrong guy. Ooh, what a threat! I bet you it was that one guy named Pierto. Yeah, he sounds menacing, and he has a cool name too. Okay. I'll take that. Oh, and I'll take these pre-war books too. They're worth some money. Before I go into the desk and pick up the book first, now we'll take the caps. Oh look, another terminal. Construction concerns. Michelson. I know this facility was built to withstand the unique pressures of so sub-oceanic earthen construction. But recently I had a few concerns about the integrity of the initial work. My staff has noticed more than a few leaks without logical source. It has a number of them very nervous. And I have to say, I share their apprehension. Grohlman at the facility office assures me that that the pumps and pressure regulators will keep this facility dry and clean, clean for hundreds of years on their internal batteries. But given his history with this sort of thing, I'm not exactly confident by 
his claims. I am hoping that you can find an inspector with a proper clearance to give us an independent evaluation of the lab. An outside certification, I mean certification, will make us all feel better. Thanks, Dr. Stewart. To all level 7 assistants, it has been brought to my attention that a number you have been conversating with test subjects during your off hours. This is a, a reminder that any attempts at social engagement with the clinical participants is a violation of facility rule 47. Social interaction interferes with the cerebral influence. And, I can, and can cause a number of potential problems once the procedure reaches completion. So, once again, do not speak to participants and be sure, sure to limit any internal monologues to the list found in Section 2, 3 of your procedure guides when in their presence. I have little patience for Shenanigary. Why'd you put the re? Just put shenanigans. Dr. Stewart noticed the staff. Memo to all staff. As a reminder, only authorized archive technicians are permitted to access the microfilm library. Several records have gone missing and I would like them to be returned to the archives immediately. No questions will be asked, assuming their safe return within 48 hours. Really, people? Find a better way to amuse yourself. We have work to do down here. Dr. Stewart. Ah, huh, Dr. Stewart sounds like a prick! Or a very dedicated man. He's a family man, I say! He has to do this research because if he doesn't complete this research, research, they're going to kill his family. Yes, it's one of those cure my cancer or I'm going to kill your family situation. But in this case, he's doing his research. Maybe he is curing cancer. I don't know. And why is there a picture frame there? For no reason. There's not even a picture in it. Oh, there's another computer. How lovely. What were they doing in this room? Probably torturing somebody. I'll take this. Or not take them. Whatever. Whatever you prefer. Just leave me. Like everything else leaves me. Hmm. Nah. I'd rather not sit in that chair. Core research progress notes. By using the data we collected from researchers at General Atomics at the close of the RoboBrain project, we've been able to fully mimic the brain suspension and isolation technique that makes the RoboBrain function. What's better? we make some interesting advances. It turns out that by manipulating the composition of the biomed gel, we are able to produce a number of, of effects that were previously thought to be impossible. It seems that Dr. Stewart was right. Under the right conditions, a subject not only retains full mental capacity, but can project limited images and even thoughts to other minds when in the correct conditions are introduced in the biomed suspension. Details in, in this details on this composition can be found in Research Archive 51, Section B. This has profound implications 
for applications from battlefield technology to civilian criminal interrogation. Although, one must wonder if years of isolation in bio-gel suspension would eventually introduce physiological abnormalities. This merits further studies once the full breadth of the current research is explored. Despite the early stages of our research, Dr. Stewart has informed us that Senator Culver is demanding a full report on our work immediately. It seems that he is sending his brother, a noted researcher in the field of cov cognitive robotics, this is to this very lab in order to participate in our study and assist us with the report. I have to say, I hesitate to show our work to anyone outside the lab. It's still very early and very unstable. It will be decades before we can be sure that the cognitive broadcast technology is stable, let alone ready for implementation. Perhaps Dr. Stewart can hold off the arrival of Professor Calvert for a few months. At least it would give us some time to come to come to a better con come to better conclusions. All right. So Senator Calvert is sending his brother, who is an expert in the field of robotics. To spy on these guys. It's like, what are you guys up to? What are you building so secretly in a bunker that's has to be built to withstand sub oceanic pressures, huh? Why you gotta build build it so close to the ocean? Building Mecha Godzilla? Not not space Godzilla. He's from space. Mecha Godzilla that I think I totally made up. Get me wrong, there could actually be a Mecha Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla was built by the same guys that built the Gundams. I'm sticking with that story until I Google it. Like Mecha Godzilla built on planet Uranus. Uh, is there anything more to read? Ah! Okay, you're not oh, a friend. reading fan. Oh, look who decided to show up! Desmond! I thought you were having a nice time in that closet over there. You seem like you didn't want to leave when, you know, I told you to come on, let's go do this. Uh, are you trying to show me something over here? Yes, you fool, there's ammunition here. And a big robo brain. See what you don't understand that brains they taste like strawberry. Yes, that's right. I'll help you out, Desmond. No problem. You did open that door for me. I could have opened it myself, but whatever. And I got a uh, an alpha level key. Alpha, secu Alpha security badge, I mean. That's cool. That does something. Unlike those blue passes, those feral ghouls. Every time I go through the subway, one of those feral ghouls has one of those passes. And I don't know where it goes to. But at least this security badge overrides this, I think. Uh, uh, why can't I go past this. Am I, am, I, am I doing something wrong? Uh, I can't go past this door.
door. Oh, it's telling me, hey, pick up the uh, laser rifle there. You forgot it. You'll need it. Now you can pass. Right? I can pass now, right? Look, the laser won't even go past it. Uh, Desmond? Desmond! Uh... I hope this works. Because... This door glitched out the last time I was here. I had to restart the whole thing over. Hey! I don't know why the security badge didn't work, or why the security badge glitched the door. But whatever, I guess. Ah! Ah! I guess, uh. All he took was some pick locking. No, it's lock picking. Whatever. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, Desmond, what the hell? Are you not oh, helping me anymore? Oh, oh. Ah, oh. oh no, you don't, Robo Brain. Oh. Oh. Still alive, I see. They could have done a lot of things, sweetie, but they didn't. You have a nice voice, though. Nice, soothing, sexy voice, I have to say. Right. Those terminals aren't turning on. Kind of feels sad for Robo Brain here. Could have loved. Could have been a wife. Who doesn't want a Robo wife? Programmer has to make you sandwiches all the time. Never nag. Yeah. Just hey, go cut the lawn. But honey, it is your job. Like no Robo Brain. No, cut the lawn. I really don't have that many stim packs left. Could have swore I came to. I could have swore I came to a point lookout with a whole bunch of them. What's going on? Seems like I've been in tons of battles. Well, luckily, I just take some medicines. Oh, I found some more stim pack. Well, I found a stim pack. Did Desmond? Oh, Desmond doesn't care. He's probably back in the closet again. Oh, 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 I got a level beta key. Will this open this? Will the beta key work on this? I hope it doesn't glitch it. Oh, thank God. It didn't glitch it. And there must be an enemy right behind these lockers. Ah, there is. Ah. Ooh, yes, I'll take that. And we'll repair our Gatling gun. There we go. Now it has more of a kick. I'll just take all this stuff. Nobody's gonna use it, right? The Robo Brains can't use it, because, you know. They already have that weird thing that pops out of their their helmets. That weird blue thing. Make myself lighter here. Oh, okay, I can repair the laser rifle. I thought you could interchange laser rifle with the laser pistol. You know, the parts at least, but no, I guess you can't. What the hell, Desmond? You made me do all the hard work? You just show up over here? What's in the, what's in these cells? They're, these are cells, right? They're, in, they're just not tiny apartments. I, I knew it were, there were cells. Unless this is where they're 
where they store their Halloween decorations. Am I getting any closer to the, to the brain? Uh, I'm getting closer to more enemies. I can assure you that. Desmond, you can't even take out a turret? Come on now. That's supposed to be a badass survivor. He's like, no, I just hired people. Because I'm rich. Oh, I think I found a brain. Always so full of talk, Calvet. There you are, you slippery bastard. At last, let's end this here and now. Lockhart, at last we meet face to jar. But I'm afraid at the end of this, it is you who will meet his end. No, Calvert. I brought someone with me. Someone very special. This stranger tricked you into letting me find where you were hiding. Yes, Desmond. But whose side is he on? Do you know? Can you be sure? You always were so bad at choosing your allies. Well, we shall see, shan't we? Destroy him. No, no! Destroy him! Uh, I'll have none of your posturing. You disgusting, greasy, ungraniumed bastard. So vulgar, Mr. Lockhart. After all this time, you still haven't learned to expand your vocabulary. Fool. And you, always with Hey, you guys gonna kill each other? Driven, but never the will to act. You know nothing. You are nothing. Such a man of will, attack me and be done with it. Or do you fear for your life? And here we are again. I'm so fucking sick of you. Uh, you guys sound like lovers. You disgusting, um, crazy, ungrateful. You gonna bastard. kill each other? Your words mean nothing to me, Mr. Lockhart. You are a foolish and vulgar man, incapable of the slightest forethought. Oh, okay. Let me just interrupt you. What are you waiting for? Destroy him! Uh. You're not going to... Well, you can't actually do anything. You're just a brain. You're not going to psycho-power him? Take over his mind? What are you waiting for? Why do you hesitate? Destroy him! Hold on. Hold on, guys. I'm going to do oh, something out of here. Empty. I'm going to save. And I want to see what... What are the two outcomes that are going to be. I want to... See. If I help Desmond... Or if I kill him, I want to see the results. I'm going to kill Desmond first. There, he's dead. Good, good. Now come speak with me. We have matters to discuss. Hold on. Let me go see what Desmond has. I'm sure he has some unique item. Guts. Ah, uh, there we go. Desmond's eyeglasses. Hey, it's a unique item. Nobody else has it but Desmond. So I guess that's a win. At long last, Desmond is dead! And you, my friend, I have you to finally thank for it! Oh, so yeah, so... You know, what's what's my prize? Go Team Brain! Well, for you, I have a very special gift. Well, no. Me and Death are like pals. So, you know, you're gonna betray me now? Betrayal? No, no, no. Betrayal is for lesser men. Your use to me has simply expired. And now, I will dispose of you. Really? So, you think you can kill me? Okay, we'll see who kills me. I swear. <laughs> yes, let's. Robots, to me! I don't care about your robots. Uh, because you don't betray me, I get kind of angry when you get when I get betrayed. So the question is, guys, if the ba if the brain betrayed me, will Desmond betray me when I reload this? 
is the outcome going to be the same? Let's try it out. Let's try the new scenario. This time, we'll kill the brain. And Desmond will li live, even though he has his cool sunglasses. Hey, you make me laugh. So proud, so foolish, yet you are all talk. <laughs> Last, the world is rid of that sniveling, disgusting, arrogant brain. Think of it. Everything he learned, everything he had, it's all here, and it's all mine. Mine. S settle down, you know, you, you know. You'll make a mess. Moron, you cannot possibly comprehend what this is worth. I've been battling with Calvert for over 200 years, and now at last, I am the victor. And now, 200 years of technology, knowledge, and research that he stole from me. Every time he beat me, it doesn't matter now. So, uh... Where's my cut in the deal, remember? You're free to take whatever you find in this disgusting place. What I came for is of no interest to you. Enjoy your spoils. I don't think our paths will ever cross again. And I think we can both thank Christ and say hallelujah for that. Okay. But I thought you were going to make me a rich man. I mean, sure, there might be something really cool in this laboratory, but, you know, I thought I was going to get paid. So the upside to this, and the downside is, Desmond didn't try to kill me. The bad side about this is, Desmond didn't pay me. So I guess I'm happy to be alive. I could kill Desmond just for the principle of not paying me. Yeah, I could do that, but nah, I think I like this result.